Hello, and welcome to Mel Waters Mystery. This odd topic was suggested from all my regular viewers by the name of Joshua Finley. I honestly think this is the second time that one of this subscriber's ideas has been utilized for one of my videos, so thank you for the input, and keep it coming. Throughout the world there are many mysterious locations that are said to contain something of supernatural powers, but with this location of this week's topic, it seems to top them all. Not only this, but it could also lead credence to another strange theory in relation to the Earth's consistency. On February 21st, 1997, a man claiming to be named Mel Waters called into the Art Bell radio show known as Coast to Coast AM. With this call, he recounted a story that he had previously owned some land in the Manistash Ridge near Ellensburg of Washington State. What made this land special was that he claimed to have discovered a nine foot wide hole that was said to not appear to have an end. In his claims, Mel stated that he tied a fishing line together, added a weight to it, and after lowering it 15 miles down into the hole, it didn't hit bottom. What was even more fantastic was that he stated that the hole would emit black rays of energy out of it. Mel never gave the exact location of his find, but that didn't stop people from trying to locate it. Mr. Waters made phone calls to Art Bell three years later in 2000, and his last communication with the show was in 2002. Each time he made contact, the claims became more and more fantastic. During one call, he told of an event where a neighbor's dog had died, and not wanting to dig a grave, he threw the body into the hole. After a few days, he was shocked to find his dog walking out of the tree line, fully recovered and very much so alive. Finally, on his last call, he said that the military became interested in his land and seized it, but gave him funds to relocate to Australia. To date, that call would be the last time anyone heard of Mel Waters, but not the last time someone claimed to have had an experience with the Mel Waters Hole, now known as the Devil Hole. In 2002, not long after Mel's final call, a Native American medicine man by the name of Red Elk claimed to have had knowledge of the mysterious Devil Hole. With his call, he claimed that the hole was capable of producing a lot of heat, but with mystical powers. You may think that the hole was simply a thermal vent, especially when thinking the black rays emanating from the hole could be just smoke, but Red Elk dispelled that idea with an event that can't be naturally explained if he is to be believed. One such story he mentioned stated that he saw the devil hole cook a sheep alive and then implant the carcass with a strange seal-like embryo creature. Keep in mind that Mel never claimed anything like that story happened and that it was told by someone other than him. What was curious was that Red Elk did mention that the property was currently owned by the US military where he stated they had set up a secret base which housed living aliens. To this day, no one has been able to verify these claims, but quite a few locals admit the Devil Hole exists, and in fact, there are more than one in the area. At this point, I normally bring up the counter-arguments to the story, but I'll abstain from that at the moment to point out a few correlating facts to other phenomenon. A few things I want to briefly mention is concerning the healing properties of the Devil Hole. Even with Red Elk's outlandish stories, it still involved an element of rebirth by way of the seal creature. Many areas around the world have tales of hidden locations that possess the ability to heal, which will be a video in the near future. My first question, outside of why wouldn't you just give your dog a proper burial, is how did the dog make it out of the bombless pit after being resurrected? The only thing I can think is that there must be tunnels connecting to the hole elsewhere in the area. The second linking theory involves another future video topic, which is the Hollow Earth Theory. As stated, I'll go into this more in depth later on, but basically some people have claimed that the Earth is hollow and it is inhabited by beings ranging from advanced humanoids, giants, aliens, and of course there are claims of World War II Nazis living there as well. Regardless what they are, the beings are said to be highly intelligent with advanced flying craft such as saucer UFOs and have medicine to effectively live forever. Maybe that is what Mel's devil hole was tied to to cause reanimation after death. The last point I would like to make is about the military base that is working with aliens. In many of my videos I've relayed stories about claims of reptilian style aliens living underneath the Earth's surface. 
With all the stories, the military sets up bases that are used to be directly involved with those alien beings. So it's an interesting tidbit that does have some linking information. Something you wouldn't think a medicine man would normally be talking about. Other theories state that the hole wasn't a physical hole at all, but rather a portal to another world. At this point, it is anybody's guess. Now I can move on to the counter arguments part of our topic. The first and most obvious is the depth of the hole, which Mel claimed was deeper than 15 miles. The Earth's crust is believed to be 21 miles thick, while in total from land to the center it is 3,958 miles deep. The problem comes in due to increasing temperatures. In 1970 work began on the Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia, which by the end of the project had drilled down a record holding 7.5 miles. There are many conspiracy theories as to why the workers stopped drilling, namely the famous well to hell story where workers could hear people screaming in torment from the hole, which I covered in a debunking video I made. Officially though, the work stopped due to unexpected increases in temperature in excess of 356 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Drilling any farther than they did would have caused the drill bit to quit working due to the temperatures increasing drastically. Mel claimed to have used fishing line to a depth of 15 miles. After looking at various melting points and learning way more about a topic than I thought I would ever need to know, I can conclusively report that fishing line would have burned away. Now, if you use steel cable, that's a different story, but I doubt it. The second bit of information we have is that Mel quit calling the show not long after a report was published by a newspaper claiming no man named Mel Waters owned land in a Manistash Ridge. This isn't as open and shut as some may think, since if Mel refused to give the location of the hole, then it wouldn't be uncommon for him to use a pseudoname. It is odd that he quit talking after the news article was published, but again, since he wanted to keep the location hidden, he might have got scared off when he realized people were looking to find information about him. One thing to consider when hearing this story is the fact that all correspondence came by way of the Coast to Coast radio program. I personally have nothing against Art Bell, nor his successor George Norrie, but one fact does remain. There was a period of time when some guest callers were sometimes staged, but outside of that, the radio show frequently had people call in who were just looking for their five minutes of fame. One of the most controversial guests called in claiming to be an ex-worker from Area 51 and was scared for his life. During the call he got cut off and the radio station even lost power. Years later the same guy called in claiming it was all a hoax where he was practicing his acting skills but did not have an answer for the strange power loss at the radio station. So with all calls it leads many to question the person's authenticity. Do you think the devil hole ever existed? Was it all a hoax, or is it something even more than Mel thought it was? Do you think it now is a secret site controlled by the government, or just a great story for dark rainy nights? If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content similar to this, and please also remember to like this video as it helps me out greatly. With that, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!